hi everyone welcome back to another video welcome back to my new subscribers and those who have been over here for a long time welcome back if you're new here welcome as i said before my name is abigail under the name of empowered rn and i will reintroduce myself that i am a registered nurse originally from jamaica who left jamaica on a program and now migrated and now living in the u.s so in today's video we're going to talk about tips for getting visa sponsorship jobs I realize that I have a large number of new persons over here, specifically my healthcare workers, because I've been sharing some information for you guys. So I just want to educate you a bit and to highlight you of what visa sponsorship jobs are and how you can get them. Now, what are visa sponsorship jobs? Oh my God, what is that? Oh my God, what is that? Now, visa sponsorship jobs are jobs that are given to international workers that are living outside of a country. And a visa sponsorship jobs offer you the opportunity to migrate to that country through a sponsorship from an employer with the ability to work back into that country for a contracted period of hours or time. And at the end of your contract or even before, you're given the opportunity to remain in the country with regards to getting a permanent residency, a green card, or even leading to citizenship. So that is what visa sponsorship jobs are. So your work is literally tied to your sponsorship and it's given to you through a visa. Now, who can get these types of jobs? Now, you may see a lot of persons get access to these jobs. And I strongly believe that once you have a skill, visa sponsorship jobs can be given to you so your skilled jobs includes nurses teachers doctors construction workers hospitality uh tech industry engineering and the list goes on you just need to have a skill with certification education showing your qualifications and you are literally at will to get visa sponsorship jobs now, where are these visa sponsorship jobs located? Visa sponsorship jobs are located all across the world. Some of the top countries that re, um, recruit international healthcare workers include USA, UK, Canada, Australia, and some countries in the European Union. As you can see um, right now in terms of how the world is at the moment, we're in a dire need for healthcare workers. Now, I must also reiterate that visa sponsorship jobs go directly with demand and supply if you're watching this video right now you can name me some jobs that you see that are in high demand your teachers your nurses healthcare. why is healthcare in such a high demand if you do not know our world so far in various countries is leading to an aging economy which with an aging economy or healthcare, it leads to more persons living longer. With more persons living longer, healthcare will be required. So with this, more nurses are needed. And we currently hear of short staffing all across the world. Every single country across the world, in my view, being a registered nurse is short of nurses. Some countries, especially your first world countries, may have more shortages because of their high population and the increased demand for access to care and services. Now, how do you get these visa sponsorship jobs? So these jobs are normally offered by employers and before they can offer these jobs, they have to showcase that these jobs are not being adequately um, sought after or staffed within their home country. So they look for that supply outside of their home country. There are various job boards such as Indeed, LinkedIn, which I've already shared on here where they will post these job offerings and they also post in their home countries. And what this does, it their demand is in their home country, so they look for that supply outside of their home country. Now, how can you get access and what do you need to do if you are in the pursuit of visa sponsorship jobs? So what I'm going to tell you guys, if you're looking for visa sponsorship jobs, you have to stay ready. How do you stay ready? Number one, if you're looking for visa sponsorship jobs, specifically the example I'm going to share with you, I recently shared some news with regards to Canada and New Brunswick having a pilot program which in which they were having a recruitment drive for healthcare workers and they were looking for healthcare professionals. This was online and you had to fill out the form online and they required your qualifications and your resumes, etc. and a whole bag of things. How do you stay ready? The number one thing that you need to do is that you need to make sure is that you need to make sure that you have your resume ready and up. How do you do this? Constantly update your resume, whether you move from a job or a location, 
constantly have your look um, your resume updated in a system save immediately once you click on it it can be downloaded or uploaded to the necessary area that you want it to go the next thing that you need to have ladies and gentlemen please have a valid passport you have to have a valid and up-to-date passport that is your identification that is what shows you where you live and that that is what you basically you can use to do any form of business so have an up-to-date resume and also have an up-to-date passport before we leave off resumes also I have heard in some cases where they say that resumes differ by country and I have seen it. You have different templates. You can easily go online, research different templates that are used for various countries that you're interested to go. I strongly believe also whether you use this or not, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that you have an up-to-date template, a resume that is considered to be in use at the moment. You want your resume to stand out because you have thousands of other individuals who are also applying you want when you send a resume it stands out how do you do this constantly update it make changes to it so that it can compete on the international level so we talked about resume and we talked about having an up-to-date passport get yourself some photo ids too please in the event somebody asks you to send photo pictures if they want to do some matching or some vetting you have those ready the next thing that you need to do also is to make sure that you have your qualifications already have your qualification in a safe space and also make sure you have copies of them that are saved there are different ways you can save your qualifications online the first thing that you can do is to download an app which you can use free of cost in google play or apple store download a scanner scan your documents and then save them to your different devices or your pc or your phone in a pdf document or a word document if you presume save them so once somebody says send me your documents you literally go back in your desktop or your pc and you find your documents there already so tips i said before make sure you have an updated resume you have your ids passport updated copies of pictures that are stamped whether by a jp if they presume or they want that and also to have your um, qualification saved and updated the next thing that you need to do is to make sure that you have a skill um, checklist check off the amount of skills that you do on a daily basis whether you're working in hospitality construction it nursing you know we do a lot of skills with regards to that constantly write down the skills that you do check them off and make sure that they're up to date some other things that you need uh, may need to be up to date with in terms of the healthcare profession i'm going to speak to if you have basic life support such as your bls or als and different certifications make sure they're up to date if somebody asks for them that you know that you can send them and they're not expired so these are some tips of how you can stay up to date if you want to get those access to visa sponsorship jobs and i said visa sponsorship jobs they are located all across the world and there are different search engines that you can use to find these jobs and another way that you can get access to these jobs includes that of following us over on empower recruitment and consulting agencies we are presently in the process of looking for practical nurses who are ready to work with us and we ask that you send us an email which will be down here below send us an email with your resume and also that of your qualifications which includes your nursing certificates and your CXC's qualifications especially English if you have them and send them to us now who is empower recruitment and consulting agency the empower recruitment and consulting agency is an agency that is located within the US that is promises to be the premier recruitment and consulting agency for the Caribbean and this agency is founded by myself and we have other persons that we're working with the reason why I created this agency was due to being online on social media and seeing so many opportunities that are out there and I strongly believe that our Caribbean nationals are Caribbean nationals are in high demand and they pose a competitive edge to the labor market in terms of international recruitment but many of us are missing out on these opportunities because we're not finding the opportunities in the right place and thus we um, founded empower recruitment and consulting agency 
our website will be listed below where you can follow us and see the services that we offer in terms of we are providing a client database in terms that we put all our healthcare workers together in one location. Once there's a job opening, you'll be notified. We provide licensure. We check your qualifications, being a registered nurse in the system within Jamaica in the United States. Also, we check to make sure your qualifications are up to par. Nursing schools are recognized and up to standards and vet your qualifications also. We also provide help with resume construction, making sure that your resumes can compete on the international level. We also provide assistance with onboarding, offboarding, and transitioning to those new countries. So if you are watching this and you're interested to work with us, you can send us an email, check out our website, and send us an email if you're interested for more information. So my practical nurses with at least two years experience, I'm asking you to send us your resume send us your qualifications and we will respond back to you. Also, please remember to follow Empower Recruitment and Consulting Agency on all social media platforms. We're presently on TikTok, we're presently on Instagram and here on YouTube. And also remember to follow our website, which will be listed right below. Feel free to send us a message on WhatsApp, which I provide here, and also on TikTok, any area that you're interested to message us. And we're open Monday to Fridays and closed on the holidays, but you still can message us and we will respond to you. So guys, that's the end of my video. And this is how we share our tips in finding visa sponsorship jobs. And you can follow us if you want to know more. If you like this video and you like the content that we are producing, Press that like button and subscribe for more content. We have so much more rolling out. We're providing you with opportunities. When I see opportunities, I'll be sharing the opportunities on YouTube, on social media. I'm also on TikTok. I'm also on TikTok as Empowered RN, where I share information for international nurses that are interested to migrate to various country. We offer consultation and support if you need advice in migrating to different countries and also giving advice on how to maneuver different systems as you move around in different countries. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video and you know someone that will be interested in this video, share this video with someone. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Premier Recruitment Agency for the Caribbean Empower Recruitment and Consulting Agency. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. This video, press that like button. Please subscribe. Stay tuned for more.